So you're wondering how you can create a mirror in Unity. I'll be showing you the simplest way of doing so while having a high quality result into your game. So the result will be this as you can see here. So I have just two cubes for the mirror to reflect and I have this plane here that it has a camera attached to it which is rendering whatever is in front of the mirror and putting it onto its texture. And we're using a render texture to be applying it onto our mesh. So I'll be showing you how you can do that as well. So I have a simple plane that I just created here and placed prior to this video. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach a camera onto it. So create a camera. I'll just uh, rotate it to be facing towards my scene. So something like this is not the best angle, but it does the job. Uh, the numbers are a bit weird, but it's okay. So I'll just be uh, looking at this angle and we are going to be rendering onto a texture so if you go to the camera component you'll see that it has a target texture uh, available space property for you to attach it has as a default none and we're going to be creating a new render texture so uh, render texture and i'll name this render texture two because one is already occupied by my previous texture and I'm going to be uh, first putting it onto that empty space. So whatever the camera is capturing is going to be placing it onto that texture. And then in turn, I'm going to be placing this render texture onto my plane. And you'll see that the quality of the texture doesn't look as great as this one. And that is due to the fact that the render texture is not uh, large enough to capture all the... Uh, quality so it has very few pixels on each side so i'm going to be changing it to like 4000 you can change it to whatever you want it, but it needs to be kind of a large number so you can see the difference that it makes now it has more pixels and more detail to uh, use for this and you can see that it looks much better and then i'm also going to be changing changing the idealizing which essentially if you see there are some jack lines if you on the diagonal sides and if we were to use eight samples, it will improve that quality and it won't have any jacket lines uh, onto here. And the other thing that you might notice is that um, if I were to move this cube to the left side it, on the mirror, it will be moving to the right side. And that is not how a mirror works. So a very simple fix for this would be to change the scale of this to be minus. So whatever you have, just turn it to minus and this way it will be on the same page as the cube and it will be reflecting on the same way. So as simple as that, you have a, a mirror created and you'll see that it's slightly darker than what the other one is and that is due to the fact that I think it's from the lighting. So if I were to point the light towards that side as well, you'll see that it will also change like this so you can see that now it's brighter and this one is not as bright because the uh, direction light that I have is now pointing towards this side and you'll see if I were to run this you'll see again that it works as the previous mirror here so just to demonstrate there it is so you can see that it renders whatever the camera is capturing onto this texture and then in turn the texture is applied to the material and the texture of the plane. So a very simple way of doing so. And one thing that I forgot to do is actually remove the audio listener from the camera because we don't want to be uh, essentially hearing whatever is close to the camera. So in a 3D game, you might uh, have that. So just remove the audio listener. You only want one audio listener, which is on the main camera. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.